evening prayer for the Thursday in Easter week. Let my prayer be set forth in thy sight as the incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The false hilaron is sung in the setting found in our prayer books as S27. In the hymnal as S27. Oh, 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 gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, oh, Jesus Christ, oh, be and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the desperate light, we sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the Hallelujah, praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you angels of his. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, heaven of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He made them stand fast forever and ever. He gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and fog, tempestuous wind, doing his will. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars. Wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged birds. Kings of the earth and all peoples princes and all rulers of the world. Young men and maidens, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is exalted, his splendor is over earth and heaven. He has raised up strength for his people and praise for all his loyal servants, the children of Israel, a people who are near him. Alleluia. Psalm 149. Hallelujah, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praise in the congregation of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people and adorns the poor with victory. Let the faithful rejoice in triumph let them be joyful on their beds. Let the praises of God be in their throat and a two-edged sword in their hand. To reap vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles with links of iron. To inflict on them the judgment decreed. This is glory for all his faithful people. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
A lesson from the Gospel according to Matthew, beginning at the 28th. No. First lesson. First Corinthians. A reading from the first, a lesson from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, beginning at chapter 15, beginning at verse 41. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For stars differ from stars in glory. So it is with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown is perishable, what is raised is imperishable. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a physical body, it is raised a spiritual body. If there is a physical body, there is also a spiritual body. Thus it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. But it is not the spiritual which is first, but the physical, and then the spiritual. The first man was from earth, a man of dust. The second man is from heaven. As was the man of dust, so are those who are of the dust. And as is the man of heaven, so are those who are of heaven. Just as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also hear the image of the man of heaven. I tell you this, brethren, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Here ends the lesson. Pray together Magnificat on page 65. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my, my spirit, spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, for he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arms. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> A lesson from the Gospel according to Matthew, beginning at the 28th chapter, 16th verse. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. Here ends the lesson. No dimities. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Suffrages B on page 68. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat thee, O Lord, that thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat thee, O Lord, that there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world. We entreat thee, O Lord, that we may depart this life in thy faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, of St. John our patron, and of all thy saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord. O God, whose blessed Son did manifest himself to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open, we pray thee, the eyes of our faith, that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Light in our darkness we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. We will pray the second mission prayer found at the top of page 71. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for thy love's sake. Amen. We lift up all those on our parish prayer list and those for whom petitions have been offered in this place. We pray for those whose needs are not known to us and for those who have not or will not pray for themselves. We pray for healing and relief from the pestilence which stalks our land and for the protection and strength of all those who provide care. We pray for those who are recovering from the recent severe weather. All these prayers we make find through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We will pray together the prayer of St. Chrysostom on page 72. Almighty God, who yes, has given us grace at this time with one accord to make yes. our common supplication yes. unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, 
granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.